students we are going to learn today trichomonas vaginalis trichomonas vaginalis is a common cause of vaginitis worldwide the classification of trichomonas vaginalis it belongs to domain eukarya kingdom is protista phylum metamonada class parabacilla bacillia family is trichomonae monadida genus is trichomonadida and species is trichomonas vaginalis now this is the organism trichomonas vaginalis it exists only as a flagellate cells are not formed it is a pear shaped organism and exists in trophozoite form which is 10 to 30 micrometers by 5 to 10 micrometers in size it has got a single nucleus and which is visible in unstained proteins trophozoite has got five flagella and all arise and the anterior end of this five flagella one flagella it is going to extend along the outer margin forming an undulating membrane and the undulating membrane reaches up to the middle of the body it is anchored to the flexible rod costa and easily recognizable exostyle which is going to support the trophozoite it originates at the anterior end curves around the nucleus and extends down the body. in fresh preparations you will see the jerky movements now what are the properties of this trichomonas that is characteristically it has an cystostome an anterior tuft of flagella as i already told you undulating membrane with recurrent and flagellum exostyle which is going to protrude through the posterior end and it is existing only in the trophozoite stage trichomonas has three species which are occurring in human beings trichomonas vaginalis trichomonas pomenis trichomonas dentex morphologically you can see the difference and Trichomonas vaginalis is found in vagina, urethra, and prostate. Infection caused by Trichomonas vaginalis is pathogenic. The Trichomonas tenax, tenax, sorry, it is found in oral cavity. it occurs in the dental cavities gingival margins and the infection is non pathogenic penta trichomonas hominis it is found in the lower region that is gi tract particularly in the cecum and it is also non pathogenic Trichomonas vaginalis is an important species. It causes infection in males as well as females. It is a causative agent of trichomoniasis, and the infection is sexually transmitted. It was first observed flagellate. in 1839 by 
donate. Morphologically, you will see that the organism is 7 to 32 microns in length, 5 to 15 microns in width, width and short undulating membrane. You can see many granules along the excess chart. Hydrogenosomes is a characteristic feature, have variability in action, living among the high pH condition. The motility of this organism is switching type of motility. You can see this four flagella, which are in the anterior end, undulating membrane, which is going to cover the half side of the body. It has got a single nucleus and posterior flagellum is the axis style. The shape is spear shaped. <laughs> All the spore flagella which are going to arise from a shallow depression which is called as a periflagellal canal that is present on the anterior end. Fifth flagellum curves back along the margin forming the undulating membrane and posta is a rigid cord filamentous which supports the undulating membrane. An exostyle is a high line rod like structure that is going to run throughout the center of the body and it is going to come out at the posterior. An exostyle is the part of the exoendoskeleton. The cytoplasm contains number of citrophilic granules and some viral particles. Trichomoniasis or trichomonas vaginalis is an Etiological agent of trichomonasis, mode of infection being sexually transmitted disease. The reservoir for the trichomonas vaginalis is human genital tract. Sexually transmitted infection of the urogenital tract found in, va in vaginitis in women, the site of infection is vagina and urethra. In men, urethritis, the site of infection is urethra and the prostate. Mode of infection or transmission. Prophocyte cannot survive outside, so the infection has to be transmitted from person to person. Sexual transmission is the usual mode of transmission. Trichomonasis often coexists with the sexually transmitted disease like candidiasis, gonorrhea, syphilis, HIV, and so on. The babies get infected during the birth because of the infection that is present in the birth canal, that is the vagina. Fomites such as towels have been implicated in transmission of this infection. Propozoid divides by binary fission. Incubation period is roughly 10 days. Trichomonasis produces mechanical stress on the host and then ingests all cell fragments after infection. Life cycle is simple because it is completed in a single host. 
infection is transmitted sexually from women who is acting the reservoir of infection to men. In female, parasites get nourished from the mucosal surface of the vagina and from the ingested bacteria and the Trophozoids divide or reproduce by binary, longitudinal binary feature. It begins by division of the nucleus, followed by the division of the neuromotor apparatus, and finally, suppression of the cytoplasm into two. On sexual contact, trophozoids are transmitted to the male and localized in the urethra and the prostate. Multiplies when vaginal condition becomes more basic than usual, that is normal pH, which is 3.8 to 4.2. And if the pH is still more, Reduced, then they will. Pathogenesis. Most of the patients are asymptomatic, but the infection causes inflammation, itching, and leukorrhea in females. They feed on leukocytes and the cell exudates. They are ingested by sites. Virulence factors. Protein and liquid proteases help in adherence of the trophozoids to the epithelial cells of the GI tract. Lactic and acetic acid lowers the pH, pH of the vaginal fluid and low pH of the vaginal pH is cytotoxic to the epithelial cells. Enzyme cysteine proteases responsible for hemolytic activity of the parasite. Symptoms in women. Cervicitis and vaginitis are common Symptoms that are seen in the females. Discomfort may increase during intercourse and urination. Yellow, green, itchy, frothy, foul smelling, fishy smell in vaginal discharge. In rare cases, lower abdominal pain and inflammation of the external genitals can occur. Symptoms usually appear in women within 5 to 20 days of exposure. Symptoms in men. Urethritis and prostatitis. Asymptomatic. Dysuria. non and discharge with fishy odor. Irritation inside the penis or slight burning after urination or ejaculation. Painful intercourse and inflammation of the external genitals. Complications. In females, you will see that causes preterm delivery, low birth weight of the child, increased mortality, Predisposing to HIV infection, cervical cancer, pneumonia, bronchitis, oral lesions, prostate cancer in men. Clinical aspects. Persistence vaginitis. 50% are asymptomatic. 75% you will see discharge. 
and 50% you will see itching and burning, 50% you will see dyspareunia, 10% dysuria, 10% bad odor. Specimens. For lab testing, in women, we did vaginal discharge, endo cervical specimen. In men, prostatic fluid and less commonly, semen. Common specimen, urethral swab, early morning, first voided urine, sediment. Coming to diagnosis. For specular examination of the vagina will show small red ulcerations or sores on the vaginal walls. If this vaginal scrapings are done of the ulceration and direct microscopic examination is done, you can locate or you can find the trichomonas trochozoid. You can culture them. Cultivation of the organism after vaginal irriga irrigation can be done by pap smear examination. Dot blot DNA hybridization. Assay is also common. In lab diagnosis, as I already told you, microscopy, culture, Antigen dissection in vaginal smear, molecular diagnosis, other tests are done. Treatment, trichomoniasis, you prescribe metronidazole or tinidazole. The symptoms of trichomoniasis in infected men may disappear within a few weeks without treatment. Pregnant and non-pregnant patient usually utilizes metronidazole, but with precaution, especially in the early stages of pregnancy. Sexual partners, even if asymptomatic, should be currently treated. Prevention, monogamous relation with partners, should not should notify his or her partners so that they can see a healthcare provider and be treated to avoid reinfection, avoiding intercourse during the treatment, avoiding products that can irritate the vaginal tissues such as feminine hygiene sprays, perfumes, powders and so. Keeping your genital area dry and clean. Sitting in a warm bath to relieve your symptoms. Wearing loose fitting, airy clothes to allow air circulation and reduce irritation. Thank you. Trichomonas vaginalis, you have to remember the morphology and the infection that is caused. This will come as a short note or sometimes can come as a 10 marks question. But 10 marks question is a real one. 